Hi guys, I am excited to show y'all some deals now. First though, we're gonna go into a store that is a pretty good ways from me, but not too far. And it is closing on March the 21st. So all of their cosmetics were 50% off and they had lots of other things in the store. However, you know, we have this CoverGirl coupon, so I thought I'm gonna go ahead and try. Look at all the Revlon <laughs> lipsticks they had. I could not believe all of the stuff. Now, the lady was kind of still putting out stuff and tagging stuff, so um, I am gonna go back next week and see what else I can find. But let me know if y'all ever had a Walgreens store close near you, and did you find any great deals? But this deal is going on this week at your Walgreens, and they're by to get the third free. I think it's a monthly deal. I wanted to show you this, though, because yours would not be half price, but it would be regular price. But you can still do that because we still have Ibotta rebates. But I decided to go ahead and pick up three of the Invisible Concealers. And they're regular $7.79. Now half off, they would be $3.89. However, mine rang up for $3.99 a piece. And I'll show you that in just a minute. But I used two of the $3 off one CoverGirl paper coupons. And here on my receipt, the subtotal there was $1.98. And I did roll over $2 in Walgreens cash. So, this made all three of these free, and then I got back $6 from Ibotta. So, it was free and a $6 moneymaker. Now, you can definitely do this deal at Walgreens without it being half off. Just pick up maybe um, cheaper items and just, um, you know, you kind of have to pick up the items that you need and compare the prices and make sure you still have the rebates. But I also did the same deal with the CoverGirl Mascara, and it was $6.49, as you see right here, and then they rang up for $3.29 a piece. And then, of course, the third one was free. I used two of the $3 mascara coupons, and my subtotal was only $0.58 cents out of pocket. So that is an awesome deal. You can still pick up the CoverGirl pencils, eye pencils, and they're just about the same price. So um, you could still do this deal and have a little money maker with that as well. Um, I did get back $6 from Ibotta. So that made that free and a $5.48 money maker for me. I really hate to see stores go out of business, um, but I know that that does happen sometimes. We have a lot of Walgreens in my area, so that might be the case. Uh, but anyway, I did get to grab some great deals there, and I'm glad I got to share them with you. Now, I'm going to go on over to my regular store, and let's do some regular deals this week. First deal that I'm going to show you is on the Nivea Lotion. And it is buy one, get one 50% off this week. And it's also spend 15, get $5 in Walgreens cash. Now there's lots of products to choose from, but I'm going to go ahead and pick up two of the lotions for $8.79. One will be $8.79 and one will be $4.39. And then I'm going to use the four off two paper coupon that came in the three 12 inserts. Now both the lotions will be $12.88, but if you add then something else to it, I needed to add something to get to the $15. So I picked up one of the double pack of the Nivea lip balm for $4.99. That's going to bring your total to $17.87. You're going to use the four off two coupon. That's going to bring it down to $13.87. Then you're going to get back $5 in Walgreens cash. 
making it $8.87 for all three products or only $2.95 each. So if you need these products, I use these. So I'm happy to pick them up for that price today. Now my store's not tagged over here, but the soft soap body wash is on sale for $4.99. And when you buy two, you get a $5 register reward. You could use the dollar digital coupon and the dollar paper coupon from the three 12 inserts and you would pay $7.98. You'd get back a $5 register reward and your final cost would only be $2.98 for both. So awesome deal if you like this body wash or need it maybe to stock up on. Next we have the Reese's peanut butter eggs and the little cups. Those were included and also these little Reese's pieces in the little cartons. They're all on sale this week for $2.99. We do have a dollar off to store coupon that you can use. And I had a $2 digital coupon that I'm going to use. So you could pick up two of these and pay $2.98 for both bags. Next, the Colgate deal is um, $3.99 each, and when you buy two, you get a $4 register reward, and this is a deal of the week, and there is a four off two digital coupon, so that will make those totally free. Okay, the Febreze products, they are buy four, earn a $5 register reward, and I am going to pick up these four items. The total for all four is $21.96. I'll be using a $3.30 digital coupon and a dollar digital coupon. That'll bring my total down to $17.66, but I'll earn back a $5 register reward. So I am going to throw this into a spin booster uh, scenario. Next, the Cotton L is on sale for $4.99, and we got a dollar digital coupon today. And then also the Cotton L wipes, this is the twin pack. They're $5.99, and we got a dollar digital coupon today. So if you need any of those items, that would be great to use Walgreens Cash with, or uh, put it in a spin booster or just use your register rewards or a store reward to pay down your out-of-pocket cost. Also, the Clorox wipes, uh, the three-pack, my store was out last week and I meant to pick it up, but I am going to pick up a three-pack this week and just use Walgreens Cash to roll over and pay. There is a $2 swag buck offer for picking up one. This is everything I'm picking up today. I'm going to use the 10 off 50 spin booster that's a digital that I got for this week and then a 9 off 40 paper spin booster and then I will just be rolling rest of rewards to lower my out of pocket and also I will be using Walgreens cash to roll to pay for um, the Cottonelle, the Cottonelle wipes and the candy and the Clorox wipes. Okay, so I'm back home from Walgreens. Everything went great except I had one um, issue with a register reward. But the first transaction that I did was with the digital spin booster of 10 off 50 and the 9 off 40 paper spin booster. I picked up the Nivea lotion and the lip balm. I picked up four of the Febreze products, the Colgate, and the two soft soap. You can see where my 40 purchase coupon came off. Then I had a dollar for the soft soap. That was the paper coupon. And the four off two Nivea paper coupon came off. I rolled a $4 register reward. Then I had a four off two Colgate digital come off. The $3.30 for the Febreze and the dollar for the Febreze and a dollar for the soft soap, that was the digital. Then I rolled another $5 register reward. That brought my total down to $34.79. And then I earned back 
in Walgreens Cash. That was 10 for the digital booster, 9 for the paper booster, and 5 for the Nevia. Then I got back $5 register reward for the soft soap and a $4 register reward for the Colgate. So what I didn't get back was the $5 register reward for the Febreze. So I don't know if I picked up maybe the wrong items or what, but um, I'm going to either go back in the store because a bunch of things printed out. I got a, also a 20% coupon, an ad coupon, and um, so I thought it printed and I never did look, but I'm going to go back in and I they'll give me Walgreens cash for that, but I am going to kind of make sure to see if maybe I didn't pick up the wrong items on that. You'll have to let me know if you know in the comments. But I ended up, that ended up being, after I get the $5 Walgreens cash back, it'll end up only costing $5.79 for all that 11 items or only 52 cents each. Now, that's the way a lot of couponers figure theirs. I figure it my out-of-pocket cost and I'll tell you that at the end but in the next transaction I picked up the Cottonelle, the Cottonelle wipes and the Reese's candy. So there's the Cottonelle rang up $4.99 there is the Reese's eggs were $5.98 but it took off the dollar store IVC coupon and then there's the Cottonelle wipes for $5.99 I used a $4 store coupon to lower my out-of-pocket, there is the $2 on the Reese's, a dollar for the Cottonell, and then a dollar for the wipes. My subtotal was $7.96. I rolled over $5 in Walgreens cash, and I paid $2.96 out-of-pocket on that transaction. So I love to use my register rewards to pay down my out-of-pocket and then be able to roll Walgreens cash to get a low out-of-pocket. And in my last transaction, I just picked up the uh, Clorox wipes, and um, I didn't pick up two. You know, you can pick up two and get back $5 from Swagbucks, I believe. But I just needed one, and so I just picked up one for $7.29, and I just rolled over $5 in Walgreens cash. I didn't have any coupons or anything, and then I paid uh, $2.29 out of pocket, but then I'll get back the $2 from Swagbucks, so that'll be um, only $0.29 cent cost out of pocket for me. So I was excited to be able to pick those up today. Today I picked up $148 worth of items, and that is the retail value of everything that you see here. And subtracting everything, um, it ended up being just absolutely free. It was $11.75, I think, and then I got back the $12 from Ibotta, and then I'll get back the $2 from Swagbucks, was, so it was a little bit of a money maker. However, um, if you figure just your out-of-pocket cost, it did end up costing me about $25 out of pocket. So, Depending on how you count your hauls, different people count them different ways. Um, I do count my out-of-pocket, but most everybody else counts it um, the other way. So, you know, you can get pick up all this stuff for free if you have the coupons and all the I bought a rebates. Um, I was excited to be able to pick up the CoverGirl for, you know, a little bit more expensive items for you know, half off, and then be able to use my coupons and the rebates. Now, I did not do the Crest or Oral-B deal because I did that last week, so you can go back. Um, last week, um, I did that deal, and I used my two $2 digital coupons. So, um, you know, you can go back and watch it and see what I did last week. Some of those deals are still going on this week. And if you're new to my channel and do not know how to coupon at Walgreens and would love to know how, 
Um, I will have a video linked at the end of this video that you can click on and it will tell you step by step on what Walgreens Cash is and how to, you know, use register rewards and, and Walgreens Cash and, you know, all those great things. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you here and share some great deals with you each week at Walgreens. Happy couponing to everybody, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.